Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Leith Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. We're here for another episode of the show. Uh, you'll notice from the last show that I got a nice big light over here. As I turn on the light over the table, hopefully that didn't change the coloration too much because it tends to make things really yellow. Hopefully this light's helping to counteract some of that. Um, I mean, I guess I could have put on the other filter, but anyway. Um, so here for another episode of the show, and. Uh, yeah, I haven't changed any of that. We're good. This is going another uh, another French wine. Now, this is not a Bordeaux wine, though I did buy it while I was in France. Um, this is another buy, wine I bought from Nicholas. You know, I didn't write it down on there. This is the 2008 Claude Trigudina. Trigudina. Probably Trigudina. It's a Cahors wine. Now, Cahors is a southwest French wine, or, or, or southwest part of France, uh, the Cahors region. Uh, it is a mostly Malbec wine in general. Um, again, remember Malbec wasn't just some, some uh, grape they found in South America. It's a French grape that uh, became very, you know, did, did really well down there and became very popular. Anyway, um, 2008. Now, this is a wine that I probably should have decanted itself, but it has been opened in bottle for a while. Um, I bought it for 15 euros and 40 cents uh, at Nicholas Wine, $20 and 80 cents about US. It is a 75% Malbec, 25% Merlot. Now that was from one source. Another source was like Definitive, actually the website that uh, put the, uh, put the uh, whatever, the not recipe, the proportions, whatever. 80% uh, Malbec, 15% Merlot, and then 5% Tanat. If Darth Vader was going to be a wine, he would be 100% Tanat. That was a... Someone asked me that on Twitter. All right, so... Um, let's get right into it. Color-wise. Uh, definitely, definitely darker than the, all the wines I've, I've reviewed today. Um, but not super dark, but it is a little difficult to see, see your fingers through it. Um, let's check out viscosity on this. Very low viscosity. I, obviously, this is not a Bordeaux wine. Very spice driven. Um, peppers, you know, like not peppers, but pepper type of, of spiciness. I feel like I want to sneeze. Fruit-wise, very light on the fruit. Not a whole heck of a lot of fruit on there. I'm getting more like peppers, not like, like white black pepper, but like, you know, peppers, type of green pepper stuff. So I can get a little more of that on it. But just, you know, the spices in general, just general spices, more than anything else. My entire mouth is coated. A much bolder wine, much more fuller bodied wine. Um, pretty thick on the tannins there. Fuzzy tannins. Um, which I, I should remember fuzzy tannins versus some other type of tannins mean certain things. 
I don't remember what they what the differences are. So I'm gonna have to because I haven't really experienced fuzzy tannins in a while. Or just, you know, the differences just felt more tannic. I'm gonna look that up. But um very tannic, almost a little bitter. Kind of like I'm I've I'm eating on the, the actual stems of the of the um of the grapes or the vines. Again, mineral driven, um, a little bit of fruit. Not gonna nothing nothing specific fruit wise, just <clears throat> kind of red fruit type of stuff in general. Nothing like I don't really say taste strawberry or cherry or raspberry or you know just just a little bit of touch of fruit there. Feels kind of hot. It's only a 13% alcohol wine, but it feels a bit hot. Um, like, I don't know, maybe the alcohol's not as contained as it should be. Um, but I, I, it feels like I'm, I'm biting into the, the bark. Not the bark, but, but I'm like I'm, I've got a bunch of grape stems in my mouth. And that's why it needs to be decanted, kids. <laughs> it needs to open up some more. Um, I said it was in bottle, opened it up, but it didn't aerate as much. This is a wine that... Um, if I blab for another 20 minutes, uh, would probably change a bit. We're going to pour some out and we're going to pour another helping into the glass. Because we've seen that that sometimes changes things up a bit. Now I'm getting a little bit more funk. Not a whole bunch, but it's a little more funk. So we got the pepper type of stuff, the spices stuff. It softened a little bit. It's still very tannic, but it softened a little bit. I'm not getting as much of the, the woodiness, the, the, the stems flavor. It's, it's, again, I get more of the spices. I'm getting a little bit of fruit to it. So it's, it's definitely, you know, again, the first pour probably wasn't the best pour. It needed a little bit, pour it again, a little more aeration to it. It, it tastes, it tastes better on the second, on the second try here for sure. If I decanted this, let it sit out for, for a couple hours, it probably would open up a lot more. Um, and this is definitely a wine that, that the wine shop said, you need to decant it, right? I'm like, yeah, I know you're supposed to decant it. Right? So I didn't say it that way. I was like, oh, yeah, decant it, sure. You know, and I know this is, these are the types of wines you want. You, the Cahors are wines that you like. To, you, it's good to decant. Yeah, starting to get a little bit of, a little bit of creaminess to it. The fruit's starting to come, a lot, come out a little bit more on the bouquet. This is really good. I like this. I do like this wine a lot. Decant it for a little bit. It'll get better. Um, it's uh, a 2008, so it's only got a, it's only a few years old. You probably could wait a little bit longer to drink this wine and then decant it still, but you could probably wait a few, uh, two or three more years and it'll probably develop a little bit more. I think it's um, I think it's a wonderful wine. I'm going to give it a 90. To be honest, it's Really good. I like it a lot. I like it a whole heck of a lot. If you can find it, buy it. And it's, you know, it's, it's a lot more reasonable than the last one. You know, it's not 50 bucks. It's $20, $21 US. And maybe you might find it cheaper here in the United States than the equivalent in Europe. But um, I would definitely seek it out uh, and check it out. Um, I want to see if there's anything that was on their website itself that I wanted to... Uh, talk about no it was just nothing 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 um 
sticks out that I want to chat about. Anyway, so uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, as always, friend me up. Donations to, to the, well, your right, to the left of my left, but donations over there. Uh, links to more information below. And um, make sure you tell your friends about it. Friend me up, like I said, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time.